Oh, Lord God, we just thank you so much for being a holy God, a perfect God, a loving God, a kind and faithful God, a God who is always here for us. And Lord, we just want to immerse ourselves right now in you and to really focus on you, to not let anything else going on in the world or around us distract us, and to just to be so thankful that you are always here to turn to at every moment. And with that said, Lord, we want to give to you our most heartfelt Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kavod Malachu Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Blessed be his name, whose glorious kingdom is forever and ever. Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadoshemo God Adonai iti una roma mashmo One is our God, great is our Lord, holy is his name. Exalt the Lord with me and let us extol his name together. Amen. And we are so blessed that we can turn to God at every time and every moment that we need him. And so this next prayer, this Psalm 121, is going to be a beautiful psalm for us to enjoy. Uh, we subtitle it, God, Our Guardian. And I will sing. Actually, I will, there was a beautiful Hebrew version of this song. And I'm going to just sing the first couple lines of it, and you'll see the um, translation on the screen, so you can enjoy that. from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to give way. Your guardian will not slumber. For the guardian of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your protection at your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall guard you from all evil. He shall guard your life. The Lord shall guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. And we continue to praise him and thank him for his many provisions for us as his people with the prayer Gevurot. And we will begin in the English. O oh Lord, mighty for all eternity, with your saving power, you grant immortal life. You sustain the living with loving kindness, and with great mercy you bestow eternal life upon the dead. 
you support the falling, heal the sick, free the captives, you keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, almighty God? Who can be compared to you, O master over life and death, source of redemption? Okay, and now in the Hebrew, I will uh, sing this fir first part by myself, and then you'll come in. Atagibor leolam Adonai Mechayim eti mata Rav lehoshia Mechake chayim bechesed Mechayim eti berachamim rabim So mech noflim berufei holim Umati rasurim, umekayem emumato lishene afar, micha mocha bal kivurot, umido melach. Melech me meet, umechaye, umats me ach Yeshua. Amen. All right, well, it's a blessing to be with you all as we continue on now with the Torah reading. And this, is, this Torah reading is from Numbers, chapter 18, verses 1 through 7. And our Brita Kadasha is from 1 Peter, chapter 5, verses 1 through 7. <clears throat> Baruchu et Adonai Hamavorach, Baruch Adonai Hamavorach Leolam Vaher, Baruch Adonai Hamavorach Leolam Vaher, Baruch Ataronai Eloheinu Melech Alam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim, the Natan Lanu et Torato, Baruch Ataronai. No tain hatura. Amen. So the Lord said to Aaron, You and your sons and your father's household with you shall bear the guilt in connection with the sanctuary, and you and your sons with you shall bear the guilt in connection with your priesthood. But bring with you also your brothers, the tribe of Levi, the tribe of your father that they may be joined with you and serve you, while you and your sons with you are before the tent of the testimony. And they shall thus attend to your obligation and the obligation of all the tent, but they shall not come near to the furnishings of the sanctuary and the altar, or both they and you will die. They shall be joined with you and attend to the obligations of the tent of meeting, for all the service of the tent, but an outsider may not come near you. So you shall attend to the obligations of the sanctuary and the obligations of the altar, so that there will no longer be wrath on the sons of Israel. Behold, I myself have taken your fellow Levites from among the sons of Israel. They are a gift to you, dedicated to the Lord, to perform the service for the tent of meeting. But you and your sons with you shall attend to your priesthood for everything concerning the altar and inside the veil, and you are to perform service. I am giving you the priesthood as a bestowed service, but the outsider who comes near shall be put to death. And now the Brita Kadashah. Therefore, I exalt, exhort the elders among you as your fellow elder and witness of the sufferings of Messiah and a partaker also of the glory that is to be revealed. Shepherd the flock of God among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but voluntarily according to the will of God and not for sordid gain, but with eagerness nor yet as lording it over those allotted to your charge, but proving to be examples to the flock. 
And when the chief shepherd appears, you'll receive the unfading crown of glory. Your younger men, likewise, be subject to your elders, and all of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another. For God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you at the proper time, casting all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanyu Torah temet, v'chaye olam nata betocheinu. Baruch Adonai, notein haTorah. Amen.